Hello all and welcome back to my channel, Rover Turbo. Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm doing a, a, a job, we're going to have a look at a job from a friend or a friend of a friend's sister who's got a Hyundai, it's a 2013 Hyundai uh, i30 or i20. It's a Hyundai i30. It's a really long, complicated story, so I'm not going to go into it, but basically there's a problem with the clutch. It's been in with someone, they've replaced the clutch, it was fine for a bit, and then it was the same, and then that person said, oh no, it's got to have all Hyundai parts in it. So apparently they then changed the clutch for a Hyundai clutch, which they reckon they didn't do. Uh, and it's been really difficult to get in reverse, been crunching into reverse, uh, and they told them to pump the pedal, the clutch pedal, before it will go into gear. So now it won't drive at all, just crunches, won't go into gear at all. So I said that I'd go over and have a quick look at it. I've chucked some tools in the boot, um, a bleeder, a bit of pipe, some brake fluid, some spanners, stuff like that. And it's an external slave on this, I believe. So I'm gonna check the master cylinder for fluid. Just have to wait for those horses to go by. So I'm gonna check the fluid in the master cylinder because it'll be a shared master cylinder with the clutch see what I can find, uh, maybe try uh, get to the slave cylinder, bleed, if it's got any air in it, apparently it's already been bled and it was fine and now it's happened again. So I'm just gonna get to the point, see if we can actually get it moving so then they can actually get it looked at because there's obviously some weird problem going on with it. So let's, let's go, we'll get there and we'll see what we find. Right, so this is the car, 2013 Hyundai. The clutch feels a bit weird. It just, when you push the pedal, you get your normal feel, and then when you get right to the bottom, it feels really stiff, like really heavy. It shouldn't be like that, this should be really light. And what I've noticed, if you try and, if you pump up the pedal, start. if you just put your foot on the clutch, it doesn't want to go into gear. But if you pump the pedal, goes in and then it's fine it's a bit notchy but it does go in so obviously the clutch is dragging so I'm gonna try and bleed it and see whether that makes it any better but it's not going to be a permanent solution because obviously this this is keeps happening so So down there, you can just see, this is the clutch slave cylinder down here. You can't really see the slave cylinder, but it's there. And this is the bleed nipple. So it's quite easy to get to. And there is a, a, a flexible line that goes to it and it goes to a hard line. And then I bought my pressure bleeder with me, but it's not gonna fit on that cap. Because it's not a screw on cap. So I bought a vacuum bleeder with me, my small vacuum bleeder, and I'll just top that up, and I'll just see if I can get some fluid pulled through it, and just see whether that makes any difference. Look like there's loads of air in it, but I think that's maybe just coming through the bleed nipple. I mean, that does look like a hell of a lot of air though. If I close it, it's still pulling through air. So that's coming through where the hose attaches to the nipple.
feels the same. the same. <laughs> and then it goes in. That's air. Hmm. Right, well that hasn't really made any difference. So that's all brake cleaner by the way you can see there. Just clean up any spills. So I've tried tightening this nut just in case it was that that was dra dragging in air. I've bled loads of cool, um, brake fluid through it, but it hasn't made any difference. So yeah, so basically still you, you have to pump the pedal. It still doesn't feel right. It doesn't just doesn't feel like it's got air in it. Um, but who knows? So, as it stands at the moment, that's all I can do at the moment. I've recommended that it goes basically into a garage to get looked at. I'm gonna try and follow the process because I've recommended a friend's garage. So we'll see if we can follow the process along. So yeah, let's 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 see see what happens. It's a few days later and we're going back to the Hyundai. So the plan is Tonight we're going to drive it to the garage and then tomorrow it's going to be looked at. So the garage is somewhere where I actually do work part time, which is the workshop that I use occasionally when I'm doing my other cars. So we've booked it in on my day that I'm working, which is tomorrow. So we're going to go over there, got someone come pick me up and then we're going to see if we can drive it. Um, over to there, it's not too far. Right, so back at the Hyundai. So we're gonna try and drive it. Which will be fun. Well, that was bloody hairy. <laughs> trying to pump the clutch while you're braking and stuff, it's just not second nature. So anyway, we've, we've made it. So we'll leave it here tonight, back tomorrow, have a look at it and see what we can, uh, see what we can find. Right, so we've got the Hyundai in the workshop and I've been doing a bit of investigation on these. And apparently, this unit here, Is a damper but that actually looks like it may have already been bypassed so that's not going to ring true is it hmm it looks like someone's replaced that with a hex head so I don't think it is that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it on the ramp get the under tray off and I'm gonna take a closer look at this slave cylinder. I'm gonna clamp it off and see whether the pedal stiffens up. All right, so I've got the under tray off and you can just see the slave up there. I think this is just residual from me doing it the other day. But I'm just looking this, is, this gearbox is supposed to have been out and a new clutch put in, but I can't find any evidence of any bolts that look like they've been touched. That one hasn't been undone in a while, nor have they. Nor have they. So, This doesn't look like it's, you have to disconnect the suspension to take the drive shafts out to get the gearbox out. So, 
Anyway, we're gonna check this for air, but I don't think it's that. So I think this is gonna have to have, this is gearbox gonna have to come out and the clutch is gonna have to be checked. All right, so I've disconnected the slave cylinder and I've tipped it up at an angle just so if there's any air in here, it's gonna go up towards the bleed nipple. And I've connected a vacuum bleeder to it. And also what I've done is I've squeezed, while it was bleeding, I've squeezed this in and out, pushed it right in, tipped it up, and given it some squidgy squidgy. So we'll try that a few more times and see if that makes any difference, but I don't think it's going to. Right, so that's it. So it's been in the workshop. The, just to give you a conclusion, it's a bit difficult to film in there because the radio was on and I had to keep turning it off. So, the conclusion of it is, if you when you press the clutch pedal, even a few millimetres, the arm moves. So you're getting full range of movement when you're pushing the clutch pedal down and you're getting the arm, the, the slave cylinder, there's my finger here, is actually moving. So the hydraulics look like they're fine. We've also clamped the hydraulic pipe fully down to the slave cylinder so when and then when you push the pedal it goes rock solid so there's no leak in there's no air between the master cylinder and the pipe to the slave cylinder we've also bled the air so there's no air in it so it looks like it's actually the clutch or the clutch fork that's bent or the the splines on the actual pressure plate so it's going to need pricing for a complete clutch kit clip it's gonna need pricing for a complete clutch kit. So possibly flywheel, pressure plate, friction plate, the whole lot, and then obviously everything's gonna to have to be investigated. Now, I've been told, I've heard on the grapevine that these can be, these Hyundai's can be really fussy with clutches. So we're gonna to have to price a Hyundai clutch. So I'll just go out and show you now the thing, I didn't really explain it fully enough, the thing on the actual hydraulic line and what i was going to replace and what's already been looks like it's been replaced and trying to explain what that does so this thing here so this this is the outlet from the the clutch master cylinder so this is the so you've got the pressure you've got the fluid in that comes from the reservoir which is shared from the brake and that goes into the master cylinder and then when you push the pedal the fluid comes out through this pipe under pressure and down and across and it goes down and then it pushes the slave cylinder now here normally these have a damper in them which is like a little almost like a shock arrestor on a um on a central heating system or a mains pipe like an air balloon and what it does is it absorbs if there's any uh, fluctuations in the clutch which then will push on the slave cylinder it will then push the fluid in and out on here and you'll feel that in the pedal and what this does is act as a damper which is supposed to absorb some of that energy and stop the pedal moving up and down but if these fail what can happen is, is when you're pushing the, the fluid it pushes it you lose a lot of the fluid in the damper and you don't get as much fluid down so you get a really low biting point so that could be that could have been what the problem was because it has been a problem before on other Hyundai's but someone's put what looks like a sump plug in there we've got a mirror in there and looked in it and there's a hex in there so someone's already done that but the way that the clutch feels I can only explain to you how the clutch feels and it just feels really really heavy on its on the bottom of its travel and as I say, it doesn't look like it's actually been changed. That's it basically. So next thing we need to do is to price a clutch kit and the labor obviously, and then go to the customer and see what they want to do. As soon as we know any news, I'll update.